Construction jobs, they're not what they used to be. The low paying, back breaking jobs of the past. Nope, they are highly skilled, high paying technical careers. We're not talking about the future, but today. Seriously, have you looked inside the cab of a crane lately? You will see a window with a few color monitors, a control panel, joystick, touchpad, remote control console, and foot pedal controls. Crane operators must focus on one job, and that's to pick up material and to put it down. To some, it might sound like an arcade game. However, it takes dedication and hours of training to operate a crane. But crane operators do get all the comforts of working in an office high in the sky as the cab does come equipped with air conditioning, an ergonomic chair, refrigerator, and a microwave. Construction and technology are changing. But technology is only part of the change in construction. Construction, let's think about it. What is it? A little history lesson. Basically, construction as we all know it is building things. The things are large, immovable for the most part, and designed to house people and, well, things. Humans have been building shelters for themselves and their possessions since caves were enlarged for families. For tens of thousands of years, peoples have been piling stones on top of another to create walls and by joining walls and houses and other buildings. Before that, tree limbs were stacked to make shelters and nomads used animal skins stitched together to make tents. There has always been a lot of science involved in construction. Thousands of years ago, Egyptians figured out how to build pyramids with stones too heavy for a human or even hundreds of humans working together to lift into place. Archaeologists now feel they use ramps and human power, but even that theory is contested. Basic machine theory using levers, inclined planes or ramps, wheels, gears, and all the rest has been a backbone of construction from even earlier. Humans found a way to multiply their strength and the strength of animals like the horse and mule with machines. They learned to combine machines to increase their ability. Lovers and pulleys and gears produce cranes and pole derricks. Steam and then gasoline provided additional power. Today, we have a new form of innovation. Computers can lighten the load in the office. Other technology on the job site can be used to improve worker results. Lasers are used to measure and survey sites and the buildings on them. Any technology that is developed eventually ends up involved in construction, it seems. The point is, whether you like playing video games or using apps on your phone, all have parallels in construction. Kids have been playing with construction-related toys for hundreds of years, long before Bob the Builder came along on TV. Think Legos, or for those older kids watching, Lincoln Logs and Erector Sets. But those are the physical toys and manual play. Today, playing at building things is all too often a virtual experience. You can learn how buildings go together on a computer screen but it's just not the same as piling blocks on top of one another. We are cheating today's kids out of the satisfaction of something real in front of them when they are all done at building something. High schools in many parts of the country are providing their students with access to advanced STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics classes. But in the process, they are cutting out woodworking and metalworking shop classes are being replaced by STEM classes. Future carpenters and electricians don't get the support that future ethical computer hackers get. How can those in the construction industry, contractors and trades, both work to solve this bias? Unions were the traditional first line of training in construction, but they are the shadow of what they were 50 years and more ago. Apprenticeships are a long-term proposition, not a quick turnaround. All too many high school graduates who might find construction trades interesting are turned off by the time it takes to get up to speed. Universities and colleges, especially two-year community colleges, what were, and in many states still are, 
called trade schools can offer a shorter time to a career. These schools are almost more technology oriented than many union halls and can, if properly affiliated with local construction leaders, provide on the job training along with classroom work. Let's not forget getting paid while learning as an example of what's being done at this level. Junior colleges and universities are offering combined classroom and apprenticeship programs with local unions. Look at all the new technology, digital twin, AR, VR, BIM, mixed reality, cybersecurity, blockchain, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and so much more advanced digitization. There can be no future in construction, no advancement in techniques and technology without the current generation offering support to train the next and future generations. We all must work together. Thanks for watching Construct Tech TV, your fierce advocates for construction. Now remember to like, share, and subscribe.